What's up guys, brand new day, and guess what? We got a brand new e-bike to review. Uh, this one's by a company called Oremo. This one's gonna be a 20 by three inch folding fat tire e-bike. And you guys know I love to see a lawn giraffe neck stem. If you guys wanna go ahead and pick up a turtle neck stem and BMX handlebars, head over to davidbrandnew.com. This bike better be cheap as hell because it doesn't have any suspension. It has mechanical disc brakes. And the seat looks like it's built for my grandma. But anyways, I'm super excited to ride this bike. I'm gonna hop on it right now. We're gonna give it this first ride. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna let you guys know if this is a piece of trash or is this something to grab. See you guys out on the road. What's up guys, currently on the Aremo Scrambler 100. We're gonna do a first ride on our off-road agility course. First thing I'm noticing is that this bike is a little small. Check out your boy's knees, damn near hitting the handlebars, guys. What the hell's going on? First test is gonna be suspension test. This bike does not have any front suspension. However, it does have a rear suspension seat post. Ooh, sadly it didn't come in handy. Let's go down and let's go back up. Ooh, got some air. This bike reminds me of the OG Electric XP. That bike didn't have any suspension. This bike also doesn't come with fenders, but I'm not complaining. I'm not a real fan of fenders. I think these bikes look way better without them. It also doesn't even come with a headlight. Still not complaining. I don't really ride at night. And just overall, it's a clean looking e-bike looks like throttle only we're only maxing out at 20 miles per hour that's not a good sign hopefully this bike can go a little bit faster we shall see overall it's handling the course pretty well though i'm currently sitting down in the suspension seat post is pretty smooth kind of bouncy a little bit let's go ahead and mix in some pedaling see how fast we can go Ooh, don't slip out dave technical skills Currently going 20 miles per hour still. Uh-oh, we have another 20 mile per hour e-bike, guys. Oh my God, I almost slipped out. Whew. Lots of critters out today. Whoa. Woo. And we're gonna stop right here and turn right back around. I do not feel safe over here anymore. Let's go ahead and pedal up. Dude, I'm so tall, I'm like hanging over the front of this freaking bike. It feels like it got some decent power. Now we're going downhill, going 21 miles per hour. Let's slow down, here's that sandy part. Oh, a little slippery. Oh, a little rough. Oh, comes with seven gears. It has a Shimano shifter that I don't really like. And I'm currently pedaling right now and it's it's enough resistance where I don't feel like a hamster. So that's a good thing. Now granted, we're only going 20 miles per hour still. All right, let's go down. See if we can catch some air. Oh, oh. shh. Ah, oh. yeah. Oh, oh. Shh. damn. So clearly your boy was having way too much fun on this freaking bike. Don't worry guys, I'm doing okay. Um, it has been over a week now and to be honest, I really didn't even get too messed up. Like it could have been way worse. I just got a couple bruises on my legs. My knee is a little sore, but other than that, I'm pretty good. Anyways, let's go ahead and just check out the specs on this bike. So this is the Aremo Scrambler 100. The price of this bike is only $899. Yeah, you heard it right, $899, guys. Super freaking cheap. But it also has a lot of cheap components on there and lack of some components. So let's go over the specs real quick. Here we go. Comes in two colors, black and gray. 
Overall, I like the look. It's the typical folding fat tire e-bike style. I really like the logo on the bike. It's like this reflective sticker. It's pretty cool. All right, here's the spec. So the bike is rocking a 750 watt motor and it peaks at 1000 watts. It also has a 48 volt battery, 11.6 amp hours. They're claiming that the bike only goes 20 miles per hour and that is definitely true in our first ride. I did try to make the bike faster and I wasn't able to so I'm pretty sure that this bike is capped at 20 miles per hour. They're claiming that the range is between 35 to 45 miles. The bike does come with 20 by 3 inch fat tires. It is going to be fully foldable so you can fold the bike in half and you can also fold down the long draft neck stem. Now if you guys don't like the look of the long draft neck stem, head over to my website. It's davidbrandnew.com. I created the turtleneck stem and it's a shorter version. It allows you to add BMX handlebars and you still keep the foldability. So definitely check it out. This bike is rocking a Shimano seven speed shifter. It does come with five levels of pedal assist. They're claiming that the total load capacity is 396 pounds. That's almost 400 freaking pounds. The bike also has mechanical disc brakes. What it lacks is front suspension. Now this was pretty noticeable when I took it for the first ride, the ride was a little rough so who is this bike for i would say if you're looking for your first e-bike you really don't know too much about them and you're like solely stuck on like the price right you don't want to spend too much i think this bike is a good one now you're not going to get nothing with it but if price is important to you you're probably not going to mind right so if you guys are interested in it i will leave a link to it in the description down below that's going to do it for the video. I'm going to rest my bones and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, deuces like that. Yay! Such a lonely day shouldn't exist. It's a day that I'll never miss. The most loneliest day of my life.